what a difference a day makes. Um, if you would have asked me on Tuesday how I thought the week would have went, I probably would have screamed at you and pulled my hair out. Um, but after yesterday and today, it's definitely changed probably 180 degrees. Um, we started out this week with infusing technology with a plan to run it like a, a PBL scenario in our classroom. Uh, we were actually going to do uh, the technology and things just in time as many clinics as, as the teachers needed them through the process but um, I don't think they they saw it the way that we did when we started the week it was so different from what they were used to in their class uh, and different from what the kind of instruction they got in a, a regular uh, training session like this uh, it threw a lot of them for a loop uh, some of them were really surprised at the intensity of what we were doing and, and exactly how much they were going to be required to do and, and what they were going to learn. Um, Monday and Tuesday were rough uh, dealing with you know teachers and a training like this and you know you could just tell just by the level of the room or the, or the lab that we were in uh, just by the volume level because the first two days teachers were talking and, and back and forth and there were a lot of little comments back and forth to each other and it was very unusual stuff that you know if you were you know if that would have been your regular classroom I mean you would have been blowing your whistle or you know writing kids up for detention for doing all that but it's amazing how as we did it the way we did and got into the routine of the PBL and presented the information as they needed it in many clinics you know this little bit here this little bit there and as we're working toward our final project how much more involved the teachers have become uh, there were you know there there we've had teachers there with all kinds of different levels of technology awareness uh, some that you know that are sys ops and uh, some that are TISs in their counties or, or on the way to becoming TISs and or TIS is a technology integration specialist uh, which is what I'm doing this summer and it's amazing you know, because we we've got some novices too, and and how they're all you know after after Tuesday and then Wednesday doing Photoshop and doing a few other clinics and seeing them work together and start to help each other and doing different things in the collaborative you know method that we were really shooting for the 21st century stuff. It, it's I think that this is going to be the most beneficial thing is just doing it in the method we did because when they go back to their classrooms and they're doing PBL stuff with their kids, they're going to see that you know it's going to be messy it's going to be hard at first and it's going to be loud it's going to be noisy but as they get into it it's going to be definitely way more authentic and they're going to understand and learn a lot more from the process and as the and the more and more that they do this in class the better and better the results are going to be and um, I, I definitely think that this has been transforming for several of the teachers that were here and just if not all of them because they some of them have you know, been teaching 20, almost 30 years, some of them have said, uh, and that this was probably one of the better trainings that they've been to, and, and I was just like, wow. Um, on my end of it, from coming from a presenter's point of view, Monday and Tuesday, I really did want to pull my head out, and it was like, what did we get ourselves into? You know, uh, we even had to start rethinking about how we were going to do this, uh, which was the reflective part of it, just thinking, are we doing this the right way? But after Wednesday, you know the third day of intense doing this it came together and I was very you know the last two days have been you know we've been very happy today was uh, was one of the days when they, they put their projects all together and that they've been working on you know gathering media and doing this and doing that and today you know, it was just a hard working day in fact uh, I think Leah uh, had to stop them early uh, because if she didn't, they were going to keep working past, well past when uh, it was time to leave. Um, oh, at lunch today, it was amazing because at lunch, Leah walked in there at 12 o'clock noon and was like, all right, guys, lunch is served. No one got up for like 10 minutes. They just kept working. And that's unusual when people are like, it's food, you know, it's time for food. But they just kept working and they were like, I'll get it in a minute. And, you know, slowly but surely, they all got up and they went and ate and this was the fastest I've seen them return from lunch you know all week Monday Tuesday or Wednesday you know they all came back from lunch about 15 20 minutes early and went back together went back and started working again so I was very happy um, 
you know, on a personal note, today was today was a good day. I was a little bit bored. I wasn't feeling too well. Um, you know, I was just helping groups here and there, but I just, you know, I was feeling kind of sick myself. Uh, after the session was over, uh, we went to, to uh, Denise talked us into going to a um, art exhibit for one of the girls who was in the office, and uh, her, uh, I'm horrible with names, how to pronounce it, and I'm not even going to try. But her her work was really her her art watercolor paintings were really cool, and we got to see them at this little art uh, shop uh, on the um, across the 35th Street well not 35th Street Bridge across the bridge in Charleston up where the old um, Sunrise Museum used to be up that way uh, in that little community it was really cool. Uh, and then we went to this little pizza place that <laughs> really was a house that was converted into a restaurant and um, some really good pizza. Um, still not feeling too well. My stomach's kind of bothering me a little bit. I think maybe pizza might not have been the right choice, but it was so good. Um, other than that, it's probably 7 o'clock. It's right now. I'm going to take a nap. Uh, hopefully I feel better when I wake up. Uh, probably edit this video a little bit and stick it online. Again, thanks guys for uh, checking in with me this summer. I know it's been a really busy summer. You're probably sick of seeing videos like this, but uh, uh, this is really beneficial for me, especially doing this stuff, uh, keeping straight what all I've been doing, and you know, especially when later on when I have to fill out all the paperwork for it. Um, but uh, thanks for staying on, uh, watching this on uh, Facebook. You guys that have been following me on there, I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you get a chance, I know it's horrible for me to sit and beg, but, you know, visit my YouTube channel, uh, and, you know, add me as a, you know, subscribe to my channel, add me as a friend, if you have a YouTube channel, I'll check out your videos as well, so, I'd appreciate it very much, thanks guys, later.